اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو دا جی فو ہولی قرآن ریسیٹیشن کلاس فار متعلیمات Today is the fourth lesson out of the 10 classes. I'm the day teacher for today's lesson and the teaching assistant will go through the quiz and surah practice with you and we will be assisted by the support teachers inshallah. Now before we start our lesson could I please remind you to ensure that you have maintained respect for the holy Quran by having performed wazu cover your hands and are now seated in a quiet room to avoid any disturbances from the background also please make sure that you are logged in with your correct id and that your camera and microphones are switched off the teachers will unmute you once it's your turn inshallah and now let's start with prayers could i please request the support teacher to unmute a student to recite the starting prayer g4750 please unmute your mic g4750 assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam how are you i'm good alhamdulillah alhamdulillah would you like to recite the starting prayer please a uh, g <clears throat> Rarely, we ourselves have sent down this exhortation. and most surely we will be its guardian jazakallah so just a tiny bit which we can improve during the recitation courses obviously we will be going through that rule we haven't covered it yet but it's ra yeah zikra not zikra so it's a bit rounded but we'll come to it inshallah okay. jazakallah jazakallah All right, so we'll go on to the hadith. Um, could I please request a support teacher to unmute another student now? G4763, please unmute your mic. G4763, assalamu alaikum. I think the student... is not available shall we try another student okay. g4767 please unmute your mic g4767 assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum Waalaikumsalam. Would you like uh, to say the hadith, sorry? Yeah, um, uh, my ID is 4719. All right, okay, I'll make sure that was correct. So it's G4? Uh, G4719. Uh, 4719, okay, that's fine. Jazakallah. Okay. بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على ابراہیم وعلى آل ابراہیم انک حمید مجید اللهم بارک على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما بارکت على ابراہیم وعلى آل ابراہیم انک حمید مجید عن عبد الله ابن عمر رضي الله عنهما قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقال لصاحب القران اقرا وارتقي ورتل كما ترنل في الدنيا ترتل في الدنيا فان منزل Actually, I can't see actually. Man. Okay, let me try making it a bit bigger for you. Let's try now. Man. Yeah, do you want to try? Uh, 
Do you want me to finish off for you? Uh, in the akhirin uh, ayatin takra'u biha. Jazakallah. Can you see the uh, translation? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, zoom for me. Uh, Hazrat Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu uh, anhu report that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, on the day of judgment, it will be said to the man devoted to the Quran, go on reciting the Quran and continue ascending in the ranks in the heaven. Recite in the slow rhythm, uh, rhythmic and melodious manner as you had been reading in worldly life. Your final place will be where you shall read at the time of the last ayat of your recitation. Uh, what's written down? I can't see. It's from Dermizi. Yeah. Jazakallah. Jazakallah. Okay, so um, that was brilliant. It's just a few mistakes, but inshallah, we will be going through those rules as well in the coming classes. For the lamb, we'll be pronouncing this one with a full mouth, Allah. Allah. Yeah, and this is a thick letter, so. Salli. Okay. Salli. Yeah, and then Ra again, not Ibra. Yeah, Ibra, Ibra, Ibra. Exactly, so that's great. But we'll cover these rules, inshallah. So for now, um, could I please request the support teacher to go and unmute another student, please. Uh, G4723. G4723. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. How are you? Alhamdulillah. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Good too. Um, would you like to recite them or read through the multiples out, please? Yes. I pondered over the word of the Quran. Then it became clear to me that there is a great prophecy in this blessed word. That is, the Quran is a book reading at. Sorry? That is, the Quran is a book worth reading, and at one time it would be even more worth reading, while other books will be shared with him in reading. At that time, only one book will be able to be read in order to save the honor of Islam and to dispel its invalidity, and other books will definitely be worth giving up. Jazakallah. Okay, so um, the teaching assistant will now go through the quiz. Um, would you like to share your screen or do you want me to click for you? Uh, DT, you can leave on your screen. That's okay. Cool. Assalamualaikum. So let's start uh, today's quiz. Question one. What is the main objective of man's creation, according to the Holy Quran? A. Righteous deeds. B. Gaining knowledge. C. Worship of Allah. B. Helping God's creation. ST, can I have a student, please? G4737. G4737. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, yes, C. Worship of Allah. See what Jazakallah, that is the right answer, worship of Allah. Question two, which Arabic letter is used as a sign for Ruku? A, Ta, B, Ayn, Mi, C, Mim, O, D, Jim. ST, please unmute a student. G4738. G4738, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I'll guess. Um, I think it's D, or not D actually, B. B, I yes. Ayn is the right answer. It's oh. the Ruku. Uh, question three. When is a letter called Maksur letter? A, when it carries Madda. B, when it carries Fatha. C, when it carries Sakun. Or D, when it carries kas Kasra. ST, can I have a student? G4744. G4744. Assalamu alaikum. G4744. Um, shall I take another ID? Uh, yes, please. 749. 
G four seven four nine. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. G four seven zero three. G four seven zero three. Assalamu alaikum. Yes, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. G when it carries kasra D option D. Well done. When it carries kasra, that is a maksur letter. Jazakallah. Question four. If a believer's wife dies, leaving children and husband behind, what share of inheritance will her husband receive? A, 25%, B, 50%, C, 75%, or D, 100%? ST, can I have a student? G4754. G4754. Assalamualaikum. Alaikum salam. I'm not sure, but I think it's A, 25%. Yes, you are right. It's 25%. Jazakallah. Let's move on to our last question. During which postures of Salat is the recitation of the Holy Quran prohibited? A, during Qadha and Sajda. B, during Qiyam and Ruku. C, during Ruku and Sajda. Or D, during Qiyam and Sajda. ST, please unmute a student. G4764. G4764, Assalamu G4764. Assalamu alaikum. Um, um, B. Do you think it's B during Qiyam and Ruku? Actually, the answer is during Ruku and Sajda. Jazakallah, and that is the end of this quiz. Back to the DT. Jazakallah. All right, so today's lesson is about, oops, let me just go to the correct slide. So today's lesson is about the normal elongation or madul asli. Now, the word mad means to lengthen or to prolong. In Arabic, there are three letters of prolongation, which we call haruful mad. Uh, these letters are alif, vau, and ya. Now, haruful mad should be prolonged for about two seconds or two counts. Now, on the screen, you can see uh, chronic examples, which include all the three kinds of mud or elongation. Let's talk about these in detail. Now, how can we recognize during the recitation, for example, that the letter is a haruful mud? Now, alif madda is always preceded by a consonant that carries a fatah stroke, like in these examples. We can see that alif is preceded by the letter ra with a fatah stroke, which means we will have to prolong this for two seconds. So ra, la, for two seconds. It's not ra, compared to one second, it's two seconds, ra. And then in this example, it will be sirata, sirata. La, so two seconds. Then the next example is vow mada. We will recognize vow mada if it's preceded by a consonant. However, now it will be carried by the stroke of dhamma. So here we have the consonant alif or da, and it is carrying the stroke of dhamma. So it will be u, tu. U tu tu bu. So always for two seconds. Then the the third letter is yamada, which is also always preceded by a consonant, which again carries the stroke. But this time it will be the stroke of kasra. So here we have meme as the consonant, and it carries the kasra. So it will be prolonged for two seconds, like. Me, see, me, katu, see, nina. Okay, 
So I hope that was useful, but how do we recognize them? Can we have a student, please? G4770. G4770. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum salam. Now let's check whether you are able to recognize them and whether you can count for one or two seconds respectively. What do you think the first one is? Is that one second or two seconds? It's one second. Well, we have, what do we have? Alif. Alif, and it's preceded by a consonant, which is carrying mm -hmm. a fatha stroke. So it will be for two seconds. Okay. Can you pronounce this? Da. Yeah, and this one for one second or two seconds? It's for two seconds. Can you tell me why it's for two seconds? Um. Well, fata dhamma, I think. Yeah, that's the fata, but what sort of a fata is this? I don't know. Okay, so you set for two seconds, that's good. We call it the inverted or fata ashbaya, yeah? no, inverted fata. And yeah. I think you had that just in the lesson previously, so it's da for two seconds. What about this one? How many seconds? Uh, one second. Good. So do you mind pronouncing this one? Yeah, that. Good. Finish off the other three letters here. Uh, sorry, I can't hear you. Can you hear me better now? Yes. Okay, brilliant. Can you read the other three boxes, please? Yes, yeah, sure. Ba, ba, ba. Good, well done. Jazakallah. Could I please request the ST to unmute another student? G4767. G4767, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. All right, so you tell me, is this one second or two seconds? Uh, one second. Okay. We have a ya, which is preceded by the consonant da, and it carries, what does it carry? The stroke of? Tasra. Exactly. So if the ya letter is preceded by a consonant, in this case da, carrying a kasra, it will be prolonged for two seconds. Okay. So this will be d. Compared to this one, can you tell me how many seconds for this? One second. Good. So would you like to recite these three boxes? T, T, B. Good, well done. And carry on with the next three. B, E, E. Okay, good, well done. So again, here we have one second B, he will have to pronounce it for two seconds, E, and again for two seconds, E, Jazakallah. Could I please request the support teacher to unmute another student now? G4756. G4756, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Would you like to recite the bottom six boxes? G. Uh, two, two, Bu, bu, u, u. Is this one second or two seconds? Uh, one. We've got inverted. Dhamma. So the stroke mm. is inverted. It's not a normal. Okay. It's an inverted. So it will be for two seconds. For two seconds. Exactly. Well done. So this one is the normal Dhamma. However, because we have the vowel Madda, which is preceded by the consonant alif, carrying the dhamma here. So it will be prolonged for two seconds. Oh, and this Ooh. one because of the inverted, we'll oh. have to pronounce it for two seconds. Great, Jazakallah. Jazakallah. Let's move on. Now, there are a few um, errors that we usually do, but we shouldn't be doing. Again, because we need to see where we have those haruful man. For example, in the first one here, we can see that we have the 
alif madda preceded by the ya consonant carrying the fatta so when we've got the alif madda with the fatta preceding it we will have to pronounce it for two seconds always no more and no less than two seconds this one will be iyaka and the second one again will be la so prolong for two seconds la raiba illa alla hala and that is the same with the other one with the vowel matta which is preceded with a consonant carrying the dhamma here so this one will be pronounced as u amanu zaru kanu kafaru and then we've got the last example with the yamada again when it has a consonant carrying the kasra it will be prolonged for two seconds here we've got ha as the consonant and it carries the kasra so this one we also have the vowel madda here so we'll pronounce this one as you he e yes amri robbi so always make sure that when you come across alif madda vowel madda or ya madda you prolong it for two seconds no more and no less than that now let's have some practice could i please request the support teacher to unmute a student g4 I think the student is G4749. G4749. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Okay. Would you like to recite uh, the first three boxes, please? Khalaqin ladhu shadidun. Good, well done. And can you tell me, for the next three boxes, where can you see the alif, or why would you prolong the alif here? So we've got alif in blue. Why would you prolong it for two seconds? G4749, are you still there? I think we've lost the student. All right, could I please have another student now? 736, G4736. G4736. Now, could you please read the next three boxes? But before, could you please tell me why you would prolong the alif? Uh, you would prolong the alif because there is a uh, fata. Yeah, and we've got the... And there's a con consonant. That carries the fata, exactly. Now, so would you like to re read the next three boxes here? Khalidin. No, sorry. it's not the sorry, sorry, okay. Uh Khalidan Yuminuna Hamidun. Good. And the next three as well. Um Ag Agrakna Musin Kadirun. We've got Qua, so it's Qadirun. Qadirun. Good. Jazakallah. So, can I have another student now? G4727. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum salam. Now, would you like to recite the remaining boxes? So the three here and the last row. A'uzu billahi minash shaitani rajeem. Bismillahir Rahman rahim Falaha yarji'una. 
Shahidun. Khalaqna. Ta'maluna. Halimun. Ardina. Yaqtuluna. Azizun. Beautiful, Dan. It's just with the Kalkala, you were doing really good, actually. For example, for the la second last box, it didn't come across really well on this one. So it's, would you want to try it again, maybe? Because you were doing well on the other ones. Khalaqna. 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 Brilliant. Very good. Well done. Jazakallah. Okay, so let's practice a few more. Can I have another student now? Seven one eight. Four seven one eight. Assalamu alaikum. G four seven one eight. Assalamu alaikum. Zero three seven zero two. Seven zero two. Seven zero two. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Okay, would you like to recite the next six boxes actually? So you can do this row and the other two from here as well. In Auzubillahi Minish Shaitanir Rajim, Bismillah Rahman Rahim, In Nasalati Vanusuki Vamahya Vamam at the end again. Okay, Vam. Yeah. No, so let me read this one for you. Uh, so it's Vamahyaya. Okay, Vamahyaya. Vamamati. Okay, so we don't have a shadda on here. You don't combine the memes. Okay, ma. Okay, let me uh, read that for you. It's Vamamati. The first one is for one second, and the second ma is for exactly. Vamam mati. Okay, it's still coming through as you're putting a shadda on the top. It's not combined, so it will be vamam mati. You can Vama carry on. Mati. Good, well done. Muta vafika yozakikum. Well done, Jazakallah. Okay, can I please request the support teacher to unmute another student now? Uh, G4762. G4762. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Would you like to recite these two boxes in the last row? Okay. Fayuafihim Siddi Kotlin and the Gina Sajina Rub Rub Gina. Try this one again. Sorry? Try the second last one again. Good. Well done. Well done. Jazakallah. Okay, so um, I will now hand it over to the teaching assistant and we'll go through, through the surah practice. Jazakallah, DT. Let me share my screen. Okay, so in today's class, we'll be practicing verses five to nine. So, ST, please unmute a student. May I request G4767? Seven, seven. Please G4, unmute your mic. 767, seven. Assalamu G4767. May I take another? Yes, please. 
There is G four seven five six place. G four seven five six. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. Seven five six. G. G. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإن يكذبوك فقد كذبت كذبت رسول من قبلك وإلى الله ترجع الأمور جزاك الله for reciting uh, just one thing how would you recite this word again G4756 are you there السلام عليكم sorry Uh, which letter? Uh, this one. Oh, sorry. It's, it's very zoom. Oh, wait. Um, it, I can't see the letter. So you can't see the word? Yeah. Can you see it now? Yes. Okay. ul umur. This is better, Jazakallah, because I th I think you uh, did a bit of a jerk here on raw. So make sure, because the raw is not one of the calcula letters, so we don't apply jerk on there. And okay. Jazakallah, can you tell me um, which letter of mud um, is this one? G4756. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. Is that G four seven five six? I think she is mute again. <laughs> She's there, but I think something happening uh, with her uh, mic. That's fine. We can move on to another we student. One, yeah. Uh, G. Uh, sorry, S T. Can I have another student, please? Uh, yes, sure. G four seven one nine. G four seven one nine. Assalamualaikum. Yes, assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. Please start with Tarawih and Tasbihah. Okay. A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. يا أيها الناس إن وعد ال إن وعد الله حق فل وعد الله حق فلا تغرنكم الحياة الدنيا ولا يغرنكم بالله الغرور. جزاك الله. This yes, جزاك الله for correcting this. جزاك الله you applied this rule. Do you remember which rule do we apply on this one? Yeah, that's شد الرول. نقول نرول. غنى رول جزاك الله خير. It's a noon مشردد. So you applied with nasal sound for about two seconds. Well done. And on this word, because I think you did not round. Dallahi. Dallahi. You need to round this lamb. Okay. And how do we know whether to round it or not? Because before the word Allah, if you see a letter carrying fatha, 
then this will be thick long and i think you did not uh, that's hakun sorry hakun yes yeah you because did, you uh, just i was not uh, zoomed that's why okay jazakallah uh, other than that it was fine so thank you uh, uh, st can i have another student G G four seven six two G four seven six two. Assalamualaikum. Oh, you sound too loud, Hasan. Sorry. Aadu billahi wa shaytanu rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. ഫി <laughs> ജസാക്കല ഫോർ റിസൈറ്റിംഗ് സോ ജസാക്കല യു അപ്ലൈഡ് ദ റൂൾ ഓഫ് ഓൺ നഹ നൂൻ മഷദ് ഹെയർ ആൻഡ് ഓൺ ദ സെക്കൻഡ് ലൈൻ ആസ് വെൽ um one mistake um this is the word letter ha so this will be fattakhizuhu and on this one because you are making a pause because of ta you need to uh, pronounce fatha only so adu va is that okay yes fine so Thank could you, you recite these two words again fat تَخِذُوهُ عَدُوًّا جزاكلا and can you tell me which letter of mud is this one wow sukran wow mud yes jazakallah okay. and what is the rule two second rule two second prolongation and how do how did you identify that this is the letter of mud and first um uh, the domo precision jazakallah it's preceded by the uh, the mastro that's why it's a letter of mud jazakallah for that uh, st can I have another student g4703 g4703 assalam alaikum assalam alaikum wa rahmatullah wa alaikum assalam okay ബിസ്മില്ല <laughs> Recitation was very beautiful. Uh, I have a few questions for you. Uh, 
Uh, which rule did you apply here? Yeah, vertical fatha. Ah, uh, two seconds. Yeah. So two uh, seconds man. vertical fatha. So fatha ishpaya, jazakallah. Yeah. And what about this one? Uh, this one is bow uh, sakin, preceded by dhamma. Yes. Then that bow madhya. Bow madhya. Yes. And, so. yeah, and the duration seconds. should be two seconds. Two jazakallah. Second, yeah. Yeah. And what about this one? Which rule? Yeah, here? this is Adgame Shafavi, I think so. Double meme, like meme, Sakin, uh, uh, and along with the meme Mushaddad. Yes. That's so, why we have to uh, like uh, sustaining uh, two second. Two second Lahum, sustained nasal yeah. sound. Lahum, yes. Yeah. Jazakala, this was the Gunna rule. Yeah. So Jazakala for coming on the mic. Thank you so much, Jazakala. Uh, ST can have another student. G4738. G4738. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Welcome, Assalam. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أفمن أفمن زين له سوء عمله له سوء عمله فرآه فرآه حسنا عمله فرآه حسنا فإن الله يدل من يشاء ويحدي من يشاء فمن يشاء فلا تزحب نفسك عليهم تزحب نفسك عليهم حسرات إن الله أليم بما يسمعون جزاك الله uh, first thing uh... I think you stopped on this word, right? Amalihi, because you were running out of breath. Uh, so I would just suggest that if you know that you're running out of breath, you will be stopping at some point. So just be ready. And when you're making a pause here, then you do not pronounce he. Just say amalih. Okay. And then you go back a few words and then start again. Okay. okay. And on the second one, um, I think you did a bit of kalkla, a bit jerk on this dal. Uh, just it should be the hub on bar. You need to do kalkla, which you did, but not on this dal. And this word, uh, it's a scene, right? Not a sword. So it will be thin sound. Hasarat, not hasarat. So there is no need to round this scene. Would you recite this word again? Hasarat. 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 So try not to round scene, but you need to round ra. Sarat. Hasarat. Let's try one more time. Only the scene and the ra. Sarat. Sarat. It's still a bit rounded. Sa. Sarat. Yes, Jazakallah. Hasarat. Jazakallah. Jazakallah. Uh, ST, can I have another student now? G4770. G4770, Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. A'uzu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم (تصفيق) 
Jazakallah. Uh, on this, the first word, the wa in, could you recite from wa in up to this word? Okay, because there is uh, this ya mushradad, right? So, and when you are pronouncing this one, you need to have a wunna sound, nasal sound. Wa in you. Okay. Jazakallah, that's better. And could you recite these two as well? And on this lam, because the before this the word Allah, you have a letter carrying fatha, right? So whenever it's fatha before the word Allah, you need to round this lam. So wa ilallahi. Wa ilallahi turja'ul umur. Jazakallah. So you need to remember to round when it's a fatha before the word Allah. And uh, <clears throat> one more question. Uh, which letter of mud is this one? Oh, wow, mud. Wow, mud. And what is the rule for that? Uh, we have to proceed for two seconds. Proceed for two seconds. And we identify it by because it's preceded by the stroke of the ma. Oh, right. Jazakallah. Okay. Esti, can I have another student? G four seven six eight. G four seven six eight. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillah. Ya ayyuhan nasu inna va'dallahi haqqun haqqun fala tahurranakum tahurrar fala tahurranakumul hayyat kumul hayyatu dunya Jazakallah for reciting. A couple of corrections to be made. Uh, for example, in on this word, again, um, I would say this because before the word Allah, it's uh, fatha, right? On dal. So you need to round this lam. Va'dallahi will only be uh, saying as a thin sound when it's a kasra before the word Allah. But if it's fatha, then it will be rounded long. And on this second one, uh, because ra and noon both are, are carrying a shadda, right? So you need to stress on both letters while joining. So it will be fala tawurrannakum. And you remember which rule is do we apply on this noon? Uh, the noon gunna mushaddad. Two noon seconds. Uh, two seconds. Jazakallah. And I think on this word, uh, al hayatu, you were you said hayatu. So because there is no shadda on your, you don't need to stress on the your. Okay, try again. Okay. Hayatu. Yes, Jazakallah. And that was the same mistake here as well. Rannakum. Stressing on both letters. Rannakum. Yes. Jazakallah. Jazakallah. Um, and I will now pass the mic back to the DT. Jazakallah. Okay, let me screen share. Okay, so we are now coming towards the end of our class, alhamdulillah. 
and we have learned some new rules and I hope that we will keep revising them so we are ready for our next classes, inshallah. To recap what we've learned today, I will quickly summarize that we have three lectures of normal elongation, which are alif, wow, and ya. We call these lectures haruful mad. Now, alif madda is always preceded by the consonant carrying the stroke of fatah. And vowel madda is always preceded by the consonant carrying the stroke of thamma. And ya madda is always preceded by the consonant which carries the stroke of kasra. And these are prolonged for two seconds, no more and no less. And we can see these examples nicely combined in these chronic examples. For example, the vowel madahi is preceded by a consonant which is carrying the dhamma stroke. Therefore, it will be prolonged for two seconds. And then we have ya madha as well, which is preceded by the consonant da, and it's carrying the stroke of um, kasra. And we've got alif madha, which is preceded by the noon consonant and it's carrying the stroke of fatah. So all of these three, haruful mad, vowel, ya, and alif, will be prolonged for two seconds, like utina, utina, as one word then. Now we'll keep practicing these, but for now, let's end our class with the um, ending prayer. Could I please request the support teacher to unmute a student? G4747. G4747, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Would you like to recite the ending prayer, please? Okay, inshallah. Uh, do I need to say uh, thousand? Thousand tasmiya, yes, please. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim Bismillahi r-Rahmani r-Rahim Allahumma anis wahshati fi qabri Allahumma rahamni bil Qur'an al-Azim Waj'al uli imaman wah Nuran wa uddan wa rahmata Allahumma zakirni minhuma nasitu Wa alimni minhuma jailtu Warzukuni tilawatu Ana Tilawata, we've got fatta Tilawatahu Ana al-layli wa nahar Waj'al'u li hujjata ya rabbal alameen Ameen O Allah, dispel all my fears in my grave O Allah, have mercy on me through the great Qur'an Make it for me the leader, the light, the guidance, and the mercy. O oh Allah, remind me what I forget from it and teach me what I do not know of it. Grant me its recitation during the hours of night and day and make it a witness in my favor. O oh Lord of all the worlds. Amen. Amen. Jazakallah. Well done. Just a couple of mistakes, but we will practice those as well and we will inshallah improve. Again, we've got Lam al Jalala because it's in the word of Allah. So we have to pronounce it with a thick mouth or a full mouth because it's preceded by the stroke of Fatah. So it will be Allahumma. And when we stop, uh, for example, when we've got a full stop as in here, we do not have to pronounce it as Jahiltu, but we can pronounce it as Wa'alimni minhuma jahilt. Because we are making a pause here. If not, yes, you can go on with the must drop. And we had a few other mistakes, which we will inshallah cover in the next classes. So we will inshallah improve our recitation. For now, we will now end the class. Jazakumullah to all for joining this class today. 
السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ